Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Full-time MMA? MMA? Nothing yeah. else? My life, man, yeah. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full-time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And holy snaps, full-time family Robert Whittaker versus Kelvin Gastelum was just announced for later this year. But first, they're going to be coaching the final season of the Ultimate Fighter finale. Yo, this is some breaking news. You heard it here first, and if not, you heard it here second. But either way, yo, the, the, the Ultimate Fighter season 27 finale is still going on right now. We still got fights coming up, so I got to make this video quick. We will talk about this later on today and even tomorrow of course but this means Kelvin Gastelum will be getting the title shot over Chris Weidman and I'm not mad at that but this is going to be a great fight a lot of people felt like Whit Whitaker seemed like he was ducking Kelvin Gastelum and I think you're crazy if you think Whitaker was ducking Gastelum but not too long ago a couple days ago actually Whitaker's manager came out and said that you know if it were up to them they would like a fight potentially at Madison Square Garden and if it's going to be at Madison Square Garden since that's about the time that Robert Whitaker would be healed up from his injury then why not fight Chris Weidman he's a guy that's up there right now out of who gets the next title shot the two people that are in discussion are Kelvin Gastelum and Chris Weidman now Chris Weidman's coming off of a win over Kelvin Gastelum, but he's been injured and he's been inactive since that fight. Meanwhile, Kelvin Gastelum has been stepping up and taking fights. He ended up fighting Michael Bisping um, and KO'd the former champion and I believe the second round. And then he fought the also middleweight legend Jacare to a split decision at UFC 224. So Kelvin Gastelum has been active since that Chris Weidman loss. And other than that, he's been on a legend's ass kicking tour in this division. He's fought guys like Tim Kennedy. Vitor Belfort, Michael Bisping, now Jacare, he's been doing his thug dizzle, and now he's going to be taking on the champion Robert Whitaker, who's coming off of a injury that he suffered in his fight with Yoel Romero. He's been through two wars now with Yoel Romero, but Robert Whitaker is has looked amazing as the middleweight champion and en route to becoming the champion. They Both of these guys have fought Jacare, and arguably, well not arguably, for sure, Robert Whitaker looked a lot better in that fight en route to becoming the champion. But Kelvin Gastelum's boxing is something serious and keep in mind he started off as a wrestler He was a wrestler that turned into a boxer So he's always still got some of those wrestling skills So this is not a great matchup for Robert Whitaker. I'm not gonna lie man But neither is Chris Whiteman when you're the champion you're not getting great matchup matchups a lot of the time You're fighting the number one contender who's usually pretty well-rounded and a badass Which is the case with Chris Weidman and Kelvin Gastelum when you're talking about about well-rounded I might give the edge to Kelvin Gastelum as he's got great wrestling boxing and also his jujitsu's not slacking he's not like he's coming out here getting submitted you know any time that you can recall so it's not even like you can really question his jujitsu even if that might be like his weak point because his boxing and his wrestling is so great but either way man this is gonna be a great fight I can't wait I gotta get back to the fights though let the full-time family know what you guys think about Kelvin Gastelum coaching on the opposite side of Robert Whitaker for the ultimate fighter season 28 and then eventually squaring off for a title fight Gaslam getting the title shot over Weidman let me know what you guys think in the comments I know I'm hyped for this fight politics aside who gets the title shot doesn't matter we know who it is now the UFC has made a decision it's gonna be Kelvin Gaslam it's gonna be a great fight let the full-time family know what you think in the comments and before we go, shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to become a full-time MMA blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, or black belt, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash full-time MMA. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.